what up what up what up it's star with stars empress wisdom how you doing virgos today i'm going to be doing a weekly virgo love reading this could be regarding a soulmate a twin flame someone from your soul tribe um if it resonates awesome please like share subscribe thank you so much um if it doesn't that's okay it may not be for you at this time check your rising moon venus signs as well all right flip the roles to you know to match your situation so um if i'm saying you it could be them um or vice versa but anywho virgo it's gonna be for virgo sun moon rising and venus if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning thank you and love you guys lots for the support um if you would like a more personalized reading you can get that information below all right so let's go ahead and get started Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What was going on with you guys in the recent past? Oh. Okay, so these three came out, and I'm going to take it. So, could have been dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but I definitely feel like there was some competition in the past. It could have been competition with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, or it could have been... Uh, that a Libra Gemini Aquarius um just a second okay I'm back so yeah you could have had um conflict with a Libra Gemini Aquarius uh or were may have somebody may have rushed into you or you have rushed or you rushed towards someone else just a second okay I'm back so yeah there could have been um a Libra Gemini Aquarius that you were having conflict with um, but there could have been, it could have been like competition that you have with this person. Um, it could be a lover, a friend, or it could be an ex, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like in the recent past, you guys started moving forward, you know, in a more positive place after a ending. So let's see what, let's see what this is about. All right. So as a knight of swords here for Virgo, sun, moon, rising in the Venus in the recent past. Knight of Swords. Oh. Alright, so um, you could have been dealing with someone who was a widow, or you could be a widow. Um, you know, take that how it resonates. But, um, or it could be an air sign. Looks like you guys were putting effort into... So, okay, for some of you guys, you guys may have either lost a spouse, or you could have gotten a divorce. Um, and... Oh. Okay, so you guys could have lost a spouse or, um, you know, through death or through divorce. If it's death, my condolences to you. So let's see why the Five of Wands is here. Let's get some more clarity. Look, yep, X, not a great idea. Definitely could have been dealing with an X. Alright, so... There may have been some competition with, um, or an ex came back around. Hold on. And you guys may have been looking for advice from the wrong ones, you know, from, you know, the wrong people. People could have been fighting for your attention for a spot in your life, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see. Alright, so there could have been competition because someone could have cheated, okay? So someone could have cheated in the past, and but your prayers were answered because you were ambitious. I felt like you guys started, um, something may have happened quickly. It could have been a sudden, you know, passing. It could have been a sudden divorce. But I felt like, um, you know, there could have been some competition or fighting in the past about someone cheating. But, um... I feel like you could have started, you know, started focusing on yourself, focusing on your own endeavors, and um, it's your prayers were answered. You made the right choice is what that says. So, yeah, you made the right choice to take action because in the past you may have been feeling um, victimized by a situation, maybe your twin flame. Um, you could have been feeling bad for about a situation, um, you know, in the nine of, in the nine of cups mood just feeling you know just feeling like everything just the rug got snatched from under you okay and it could have been because someone cheated um but let me go more yeah so you may have had to detach from a situation because a relationship needed to be balanced yeah 
And it could have been, yeah, you were disappointed in the recent past in a love situation because you may, uh, either someone cheated and, you know, involved multiple people in the situation or, um, it was just a bunch of people that had no business being involved in your relationship, involved in your relationship. Okay. Or it could have been both. So either you or your person had to detach from the situation to balance the relationship out. Okay. So, yeah, but I felt like you guys were both disappointed in the situation because somebody, either you or your person, was becoming a workaholic to basically fix the situation. They Or instead of um, fixing the situation, someone may have just decided to put all of their F energy into work and not, you know, fixing anything. But, yeah, um, either way, your prayers were answered, Virgo. So, let's see. Let me get a little one more for this someone for this competition in this cheating situation. I saw three 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 and five five five, so that may be significant to you guys. Yeah. Okay. So someone could have cheated with um, a Gemini, um, or you could have had that in your chart, or your person does. But yeah, someone could have cheated. Um. Because someone took a love offer. Yeah, it could have been someone took a love offer with a Gemini. Or or you cheated on a Gemini. Or your person cheated on a Gemini. I don't know. You know you know, you know your story. But yeah. Um, so it could have been a, a, a family situation. Someone that you had a family with. Or your person had a family with someone. And they um, may have taken a love offer somewhere else. So I feel like uh, you are healing from this situation. I feel like everyone is healing from this situation. Um, someone may have had to heal from a loss, you know. So that could have been because of, you know, it could have been, for some of you, I feel like um, cheating resulted in divorce in a situation. And for others of you, um, I feel like there was a lot of people involved in your relationship that didn't need to be. And some of you guys may have been taking, you know, advice from the wrong people or your person was. And that could have caused a lot of conflict. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and there was definitely, I feel like there could have been some, you know, rumors surrounding. Yeah, devil energy. It could have been some rumors surrounding someone cheating. Yep. And you may have felt stuck in a situation and that, you know, because you were guarded. Yeah, so you felt someone could have been being ungrateful about, you know, being, you know, in a, basically being with you. Wasn't appreciating you, you know. Someone could have had control issues. Someone could have been abusive. Yep, but um, I felt like somebody may have had to move away or you moved away or somebody moved away from you. Um, and that was a good move. Somebody was being smart and had to get out of a... Um, you know, uh, a situation that was a lot of fighting and competition and drama and, you know, somebody cheated. It was a mess, okay? But I feel like um, from that, somebody fell in love, okay? And is moving forward positively. So, let's see. Let's six of swords here. All right, so you guys are moving forward positively. Um, you guys may have been, you know, watching your money real careful, trying to, you know... Um, basically get stabilized again because if you just got divorced i feel like you guys are now trying to stabilize yourself if you lost a spouse i feel like you guys are trying to stabilize yourselves you know what i'm saying so um i feel like you guys are moving forward positively maybe you guys are saving your money to move but you did in the recent past manifest uh manifest your true desires to end a bad situation you know to have an ending could be with the scorpio or an aries doesn't have to be though yeah, but somebody returned, though. So I felt like you manifested your um, true desires, which was to move forward positively with someone. But, um, yeah, some it could have been a friend. Some, But somebody's waiting to take action, okay? Maybe someone's waiting for something to end all the way. So, but let's get into um, what you guys have coming in in the next seven days, okay? All right, so in the next seven days for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What y'all got coming in, Virgo, Virgo? All right, so this came in in reverse. I feel like the competition is being dropped. The internal conflict is being dropped because somebody is now making a decision. Maybe someone's making a decision about you or to come towards you. 
All right, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, yeah, but somebody may be dropping their guards or um, releasing some, like, toxic energy. Could be somebody that used to fight all the time and, you know, um, caused a lot of conflict. Or you could have been someone who fought a lot, you know, had anger issues, and I feel like that's being released. I feel like you may be unblocking a Capricorn as well. Or no longer feuding with a Capricorn. <laughs> Someone that you may have an investment with or have invested, you know, um, a situation with. Oh my gosh, it could be your divine counterpart. Um, if not, it could be an Aries or Taurus. But yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to avoid a tower moment with the Scorpio. So somebody's trying not to um, have an ending with someone or something, okay? That could be you or that could be your person. But, um... You know, but anywho, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig too deep deep into that. But um, you could be dealing with your divine counterpart, um, or you could be the divine masculine. Take out resonates, <clears throat> but let's see. Let's get some clarity. What's going on with this five of wands in the next seven days for Virgo? All right, like I said, somebody's making a decision. Somebody is at a crossroads and has to make a decision about an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be um, you have to make a decision about a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or um, you have to make a decision about competing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, um, or your person has to make a decision about, um, it could be an ex, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So... That's three different scenarios, um, so, you know, you know your situation. Alright, so, some of you guys may have to um, release some toxic energies or a toxic uh, connection with somebody. It is a good decision because it's taking a foolish risk to, you know, to keep um, staying bound to this person or this situation. It could be addiction. For some of you guys, could be smoking addiction. Uh, yeah, it may be a good idea because you may need to um, be more, uh, you may need to put more effort into your creative endeavors or and have about and able to have a stable relationship. It may be a decision, a good decision to release some type of addiction. That could be smoking, that could be drinking, that could be um, negative thinking, okay? Um, feeling abandoned, so abandonment issues, and also, I feel like if you release an addiction, that could help you um, financially, all right, or your person. So, let's see, and also for some of you guys, a Capricorn is a good decision for you, a good person for you. But they may be struggling financially at this time. There's a seven of pentacles here. For Virgo. There's a seven of pentacles here for Virgo. Alright, so there may be um Okay, so a situation is coming to a close. I feel like you may feel defeated. It may have been in a situation that, you know, you feel defeated, you feel you felt like um, someone just basically could have played you. They weren't interested in you. This could have been a past person, okay? Um, but some of you guys, I feel like you guys may be taking some of your past energy into a current situation. Because it looks like you're looking at your invest what you've invested in. And you're like, um, why is this person, you know, the, the people I've invested in, betray me? What the f you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you guys are going to be kind of looking at the things that you've invested in, the people that you've invested in in the past, and um, how some of the people you were invested in were emotionally unavailable, um, don't seem interested in the connection, you know what I'm saying? And that could be because, um, for some of you guys, it could be health, okay? So it could be... Um, Someone may seem emotionally unavailable, but it's because they're focused on their health as well. And they feel like they may have bad news um, or they have received bad news or are concerned about bad news surrounding health somehow. Okay, so 
um, someone could feel or could appear not interested or emotionally disconnected, but it's because they're focusing on that. Some, and that's just for some of you guys. I may be for one person. Some of you guys, it's an investment. Like somebody is focused on their business, on a business endeavor or something like that, and that's why they don't seem interested. Um, or they're focused on business, and that's why, you know, they're focused on a new job or something like that. Um, a new investment, and that's why they don't seem as interested as, um, maybe they were before or something. But, um, I feel like this, it's because this person may have gotten some bad news, okay? So, they may have gotten bad news, they may feel defeated, mentally defeated about a situation that could be, it could be you that feels mentally defeated from a situation. Could be from your health, it could be from the loss of someone, it could be, um, you know, just bad news about a situation that you were working, you know, hard on or whatever. But you're going to be moving forward positively, you know. You or your person is going to be moving forward positively, yep, from being anxious and confused about a situation. Okay, so let's see what the Emperor is here for you guys. You guys could be thinking about starting a business. Um, may, and some of you guys may feel like somebody that you um, want to work with, it doesn't seem invest, invest in... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Um, someone doesn't feel like, okay, I, I'm putting in my part. Where's, you know, why aren't you putting in your portion? Like, why aren't you interested in our business or something like that? But, um, I feel like if you guys keep working at this, you could have a good relationship, but they, you, someone may be fighting this situation. Okay. There may be actual fighting because of other people, um, or other people are fighting your person or whatever, but this is a good relationship. It can be a good relationship. Um, I feel like this could be a divine counterpart, all right? But in, but someone may be avoiding ending a situation from the past. Someone may be avoiding in a tower moment. Yeah, so that's why they're emotionally withdrawing. Yep, because they, they're just emotionally withdrawing and focusing on work because someone may not want to end a situation. So your divine masculine may, you know, not want to end a situation because... Um, you know, he doesn't want to let go of the past, okay, completely. And, um, but he's at a crossroads. He's going to have to make a decision. And it is, because I feel like the Divine Masculine in this situation, if it is a Divine Masculine situation, somebody may have been focused on alcohol and drugs to avoid making a decision about all this because people are are fighting for whoever's attention. It could be both you and your person's attention. But it's a good decision, you know, to release that shit. Like, it's a good decision to release all that negative energy. Um, but somebody is just not... Somebody is just acting like they're not interested in the situation. Even though it is a positive risk that they're taking. So this could be you or your person. Because they are dealing with a divorce, okay? Or a breakup. Of a breakup. So... Yeah, but they, de they, your person definitely feels like, um, you emotionally fulfill your person. So if this is your divine counterpart, you emotionally fulfill them. But the thing is, they are dealing with a breakup, um, a divorce at this time. They are dealing with an ending. And that's why they may seem uninterested or emotionally distant this, uh, next seven days. Because, and some of them are just focused on, um, building, building, you know, starting a new business and focusing on their, you know, they're coins, basically, focusing on becoming a boss because um, so they may appear uninterested to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to be rich and successful. Maybe they feel like you're already rich and successful and they want to match that energy so they can be the true emperor to you. You know, so that's why they may emotionally withdraw or they may seem emotionally unavailable. Yep, maybe someone is, is trying to stack up to, you know, to travel towards you or they want to travel with you. Yeah, because they want a stable relationship with you. And they want to um, show you the appreciation and rewards that you deserve. They want to be able to give you the world, this uh, person. Yep, and they're trying to make a wise choice to think positive about everything that's going around. Because they, be, they may be not as financially uh, stable at right now. Could be dealing with, um, or this could be you. Could be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that may, may be younger than you. But look, you have good luck in a new project and a new romance. So this person may come in and want to work with you. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at this right in the middle. 
this uh i feel like um this could be also i'm feeling like this could be somebody that you're bound to um spiritually so i don't i'm for some of you guys i'm not feeling that this is negative this could be like a um twin flame like i said and it is a good decision because you may have a contract with this person um like i said you may have good luck in business and in love with this person okay but um that's just for some of you guys some of you guys um somebody could have probably tried to put a hex on y'all which could have made your person seem uh not interested and emotionally unavailable okay yeah and it could have been an air sign or a fire sign but anywho so i'm gonna go into the last part which is so anyways your person's getting ready for you okay they're just gonna have to um they're trying to avoid a, a tower moment that's gonna have to happen anyway okay but um so i'm gonna go into who you're going to um have who could you have conflict with in the next seven days into 2020 and who could you have a lot of harmony and love within the next seven days into 2020 as well as a gift from spirit to you a gift from the universe the heavens the most high to you for 2020 okay so first and foremost uh for uh who could virgo have conflict with in the next seven days who could virgo have conflict with in the next seven days another virgo for some of you i'm hearing is it could be your own self so don't self-sabotage the situation virgo oh did something fly out? yeah it did yep drop the burdens you're gonna need to release burdens of a situation it could be involving a gemini doesn't have to be though um yeah because you have to move forward from the grief and the heartbreak okay yep it's i feel like this could be you that you could have a conflict with virgo is yourself or it could be another virgo um or someone with virgo on their chart but i feel like you need to release the burdensome situation that that involved a lot of heartbreak and you know move forward positively make a decision to you know move forward into this into this romantic connection i definitely feel like it's you that you have an issue with is yourself virgo yeah because you, you feel like this situation is too good to be true and it's deceptive, but it's not. <laughs> Anyways, that's funny. So Virgo, I think you may have conflict with yourself. Okay, so be careful with yourself. All right, who are you going to have harmony with, Virgo? Who could you have harmony with? An Aries. Okay, or someone with Aries in their chart. Why? Let's see. Your hard work will pay off, okay? Work hard and it will pay off. So you may be, um, the per you know, your person could have Aries in their chart, but yeah. Um, or this could be you. The effort you put into yourself is going to pay off. Yeah, you may be waiting for a call and you're kind of tense about it. Relax, you'll be alright. Or you may be waiting for a call from an Aries um, or a Leo. Yep, but a soulmate is returning to your life, okay? So, um, let's get your gift. All right, so Virgo's gift for 2020. Hey, baby. Hold on. All right, so your gift for 2020, Virgo, is... A new home, a new apartment, or a new condo. Okay. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, this up and coming 2020, the universe is going to be blessing you with a new home. That's freaking awesome. Yay! All right. Awesome sauce. Later, loves. <laughs>